Hey there, I just wanted to review some common troubleshooting with you and you may not even run into these issues, but these are sometimes some common um, things that new Saint customers might run into and so I wanted to go ahead and address them with you. And please know that if you run into any of these issues or any other issues, you can always come to me and we can work together to find the solution. Um, but first, one of the things that you might uh, notice is that the makeup is not staying on your skin as long as you'd like for it to. It's oily or it seems to be slipping around. So first of all, there is an adjustment period that you need to allow your skin to get used to this new product. You're probably used to using liquid foundation and or powders and both of those products can dry out the skin for the liquid foundations they are water-based and so once you apply them to your skin and they dry and evaporate it dries out your skin and so after you've been applying that product on your skin day after day your skin is used to having to produce more oil just to overcompensate and stay hydrated it's a, a something a, a similar metaphor would be like if uh, someone that, that washes their hair every day, they might say, oh, I need to wash my hair every day because it's so oily. But if you were to talk to their hairstylist, they're probably gonna say that they shouldn't be washing their hair every day, and that's why it's so oily, because they are washing it every day. So, um, you know, it's the same thing with the dry shampoos, like as, as the shampoo dries out your hair and your scalp makes more moisture, or more oil to, to moisturize your hair and then you keep washing it it's just a vicious cycle and that's the same thing with liquid foundations in your skin so when you stop using those products that are drying and dehydrating your skin does take some time to get used to it because it's used to having to produce so much oil just to maintain the pH levels um, so it takes about two weeks for your skin to adjust to this product. Cream foundations are very hydrating and so you will not have that same problem with the drying out. You just have to allow your skin a chance to get used to it. And even though it does take a little bit of an adjustment period, I promise you will love the end result. It is completely worth it um, for you to just wait out those few weeks while your skin does get adjusted to this new product. And in the meantime, it's something um, that you can try or um, even beyond the adjustment period, if, if you're finding that you are still a little bit oily during the day, you can try our vanilla dust setting powder. So with that, um, you can just, you know, uh, apply it with our powder brush. We actually even have a um, combination set on our website with the vanilla dust setting powder and the powder brush as a set to save you some money. So you can apply those to the areas that are a little bit more oily. And then there's also our setting spray. So Saint does have a great high quality setting spray. I love to use it before I even apply my 3D foundation to use as a primer almost. And then I also use it after I apply my 3D foundation to use it as a setting spray. But whether you use Saint setting spray or not, just use a setting spray. Whether you, you know, if you might have um, one that you prefer at home or just one lying around and just use a setting spray to help keep everything where you placed it. Then there are also, um, those people that decide to use primers. I do not use a primer and I, I feel like this, this makeup, um, you know, adheres to my skin and provides adequate coverage without a primer, but everyone's skin is different. So you might find that you need to utilize a primer if it's not, um, I'm sorry, my dog's snoring. <laughs> um, if it's, if it's not, it's still not adhering to your skin as well as you, that you would like. 
Um, there are, just keep in mind that there are different types of primers. There's oil-based primers, there's water-based primers, there's cream-based primers. So um, you might need to try uh, more than one with your skin and see which one works best. Now, there's also the, some new uh, Saint customers might find that their makeup is not blending well. And if this is the case, that sounds more like a color match issue where you need a different color on your skin or it, the, the color is too light. So if that is the case, if you feel like uh, the, the colors are not blending well, reach out to me and we can work on finding a, a correct shade. I, I do my best uh, to do virtual color matches, but sometimes um, just due to lighting or uh, what, what have you, sometimes it does need to be adjusted and that's why Saint does provide that 30 day exchange and return policy so that you can swap shades as needed. Then there's also, um, some people find, since it is a new product, that it's not providing them the coverage that they are used to or that they want. Um, if you are having, I, I feel like this, this um, makeup does do a good do job as far as coverage, but you know, if you have hyperpigmentation or redness, melasma, dark circles under your eyes, you might need some color correction and we can work on that as well. So I actually use um, a color corrector under my eyes because I do have some dark circles under there. And so I use um, a color corrector to neutralize that shade and I apply my color corrector before I apply my uh, the rest of my 3D foundation. So if you have any of those problem areas that you want to cover and you feel like the 3D foundation by itself is not giving you enough coverage, Again, reach out to me and we can work on some color correction for you. And then there's also um, sometimes, you know, and this is also goes hand in hand with just trying a new product. Some people mention that it does feel like heavy or sticky. And so that's one of those things um, that, you know, it might feel that way initially, but once you give your time, your skin time to adjust again, then I promise you'll love the way that it feels on your skin and the way that it makes your skin look as well. And so those are just some common troubleshooting tips that uh, I wanted to run across you. If you have, if I didn't cover um, a, an, an issue that you're having or if, if you have additional questions, please reach out to me and we can always talk about uh, your needs, specific needs. And I, I want to make sure that you you feel beautiful in this makeup and that you feel like this, everything is uh, correct for you. So let me know if you have any additional questions.